Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. This video right here is going to be kind of a pet that doesn't really need um, heating, UVV, um, very little care. Well, they still need fed, but um, and watered and stuff like that. Uh, but you don't have to clean up their messes or nothing like that. Um, they eat three times a week. Um, you don't have to feed them like every other day or every day. Um, you can feed them like Monday. You can feed them like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Or like just certain days. Um, they either feed or bleh. Eat um, twice a week or three times a week. It just really depends on the species of this animal um, and how big it is. Mine currently eats three times a week. Um, now, if it's a juvenile, um, you do want to feed it about every day. Like the goat said. Um... And this animal here that isn't the the blah 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 blah. I cannot talk today. Um this animal here um is some people might not like it and but it is not a spider or it's not a snake. Um but here is an insect. Just that. Um they are jumpers as well. Uh they are very friendly. I must seem that the, the blah, blah blah blah. Can't talk. Move my microphone here. That they are kind of they're friendly. Um, they are a little bit skittish. Um, they do move quietly fast. Um, and they don't need no heating, UVV, very little maintenance. Um, and what I have is a male, actually, and if he gets his butt on my hand, I will be able to show y'all. The praying mantis. It's about lighting there. Um, here is a, an, I'm going to say an adult. Um, he has four wings, um, so they can fly. Or here is a male, because the wings are past the... The thingy, the bug's butt. Um, they are very, um, um, they kind of, I guess, like, kind of little picky eaters, I guess. Um, they only eat live. Um, you can feed them crickets, um, flies, um, I'm going to say spiders. Um, they don't really need a big habitat. Um, just trying to get them off your arm is a different thing because they like to stick onto your arm and they don't want to come off when they do. I found somewhere we're going to fall backwards here in a minute. Come on. Fine then. Be that way. I just use one of their perches and get them back on and back into their bin. Then you go. Um... They don't really eat anything with a hard shell. I'm not like that. Um, hi there, buddy. He's coming out. If I get my stand here right, um, I can show y'all the setup I have for him. Okay. Climb up my shirt. Dude, I don't know about you. I guess he wants to be on my hand, so he's going to be on my hand. Boy. Um, like I said, my phone was going to fall, but, yeah. These guys here, they are, um, no, I'm not getting you out again. They can be, uh, Venomous, well, they are, um, but they are not harmful to humans. 
<clears throat> um, he's right here. Um, they are not harmful to humans, um, so they are perfect pets. Um, they are good little eaters. They prefer live, um, stuff like that. Um, this is the bin I have set up for him. Um, it is a little bit more bigger than what the recommendation is for these guys. Um, <clears throat> when they shed, they f um, hang upside down. Like, let's say right here is like their branch. They will hang up up here and they will fall to the ground to shed. And if they don't have a very high... Um, so, if my hand is like the ground of their bin, and it sticks about right here, they they won't be able to get out of the um, their exoskeleton skeleton um because where the ground is too close to the perch um he has shedded twice since i've had him um he's a pretty good eater um they sometimes are not really picky. they're not really picky eaters but sometimes they can be it just depends on the mantis. There are certain breeds and species of mantises. Um, I, where I live at, I um, mainly have the, this type of mantis, the green ones. Um, they, um, I do have a ghost mantis that lives around my house. Um, it's like that. Uh, I know how long it is. Um, but they rather have a, more of a taller, um, aquarium than they would a, um, I hate this cord so much, than what they would have a, um, longer one. So they would rather have a tall one so they can fall to the ground and get out of their shed. Um, the reason why some of these die in the wild is because they can't molt properly and they end up dying or they are about to hatch and predators um eat them so yeah um they are jumpers and um they can fly but um they do have very good camouflage um when like, they are sitting on a flat surface or something like that. They will, like, rock back and forth like the wind is blowing with a leaf. Um, they, there is a mantis, I think, called the Death Mantis. And, um, the only reason why that's called that is because it looks like a dead leaf. So, um, this is my bin for him. It goes from here to here. That is how long it is, and it's, um, from here down to off of the camera there um they do have to have um kind of like a about that deep of a water dish um so they can have some of the drink um you can spray their enclosure down um they don't really need like very much maintenance they don't need no heat uvv no lighting no nothing um all you should do is just, like, you can play with them. Um, I give them food. It's fun watching them because they use these, like, things up here that look like they're like this. And they, like, attack their food. It is so fun to watch them play with their, like, get the food. Um, the setup, I have, um, I still have to add a lot more decor and stuff in it right now. Um. His decor looks a little, or his bin looks a little boring, but this is his setup. He has a rock, a thing over here, so he can climb up on if he wants to, a perch that he's sitting on right now, another thing that's supposed to be up here, but it keeps falling down, so I'll have to fix that, another thing, that and that. Um, I'm going to get another one of these, and it's kind of set from here across, and from another one from here across to over here so he has like different ledges and stuff like that um i try to get him at different heights too uh especially when he sheds he needs him up a lot higher than what you know he's at right now um they leave their like shed behind 
they don't eat it or nothing like that. Um, and here's a kind of like a interesting, that little weird and odd fact about these guys. Um, <clears throat> I have a goat that she's not happy because she's once out, but she ain't getting out. Um, <clears throat> and it's kind of weird that they do this, but it's just a praying mantis thing, I guess. Um, the one here, I was planning on breeding him, but breeding with him with a female, I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna get another male like him and raise up in a female. Um, the only reason is because I want to keep him and just raise him, keep like doing what I'm doing with him and get another male and female. Um, only reason is is because um, if y'all didn't know this, uh, a female will do something to the male, and if you know what it is, leave it in the comment section below, and I will tell y'all later on in this video um but it does not end well with the male um the only reason how you can tell if it is a male or female is like the wings of them being longer than the abdomen how nice it um the ab the female's wings will be a little bit more shorter and the males will be a lot more longer um get in there Get in there. There you go. They will use every inch of their enclosure. They are very curious little creatures and stuff like that. Um, at nighttime, they are, their eyes go fully black. So it's kind of creepy. Um, but I guess it's a perimantis's way to see in the dark. Um... Some people, they don't really like praying mantises, whether an insect and stuff like that. Um, but I like them, stuff like that. Um, you can holler at her later. I got some weird neighbors. <laughs> um, but they love to climb, they love to explore, and they will basically eat anything. Um, what I feed mine is crickets, um, dust, and calcium powder. Um, they will eat about anything you can give them. They don't care what it is. Um, the only thing I don't recommend feeding these guys is a mealworm, superworm, waxworm, or any type of worms. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but I got some weird things going on with my neighbors. Okay then. Um, so that's basically <clears throat> the prey mantis I have. Um, I did have three. Um, one um, died and the other one did die too. So I just have this one now. Um, Prey mantises, their lifespan isn't very long. Um, I think they live for eight months, then three more months after that, and then that's it. And then they're dead. So, um, yeah. But um, I'm hoping to get a male or blah, 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 blah. a female and a male. Um, so I can breed and have ma baby mantises. Um, so mantises are like, I don't really know how much that would be. But anywho. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I keep moving their, their branches around. But that's basically about it for this video. Um... But before we go, um, if you don't know what happens to the male when he's mating with the female, the female will bite his head off. 
like his little bug head. The female will bite his head off and kill him and eat him. So that's kind of strange, but it's just a praying mantis's way of, I guess, killing one another. But I really wouldn't recommend housing them together, especially if it's a female and a female. Don't house them together or male and a male. Um, he's in here by himself. Um, he enjoys it, and he's a pretty fun little creature to have. Um, if you have any questions about him or anything um, about praying mantises, let me know in the comment section below. And if y'all have like any like I guess concerns about why like why a female mantis will bite the head of a male mantis, um, let me know in the comments and I will answer them um i'm thinking the only reason why the female will bite the head of the male mantis is just a female saying okay i'm done mating with you so that's probably the only reason why but, but yeah but these little creatures they're pretty cool and interesting and a little weird because their eyes turn solid black um but if you mean to do a feeding video with him, um, I'll be doing, I'll probably be feeding him tomorrow night. Um, cause right now where I live at, I am in, currently in school. So it'll be like kind of later night videos. Um, so yeah. But if you have any questions on a mantis or what to name him, cause he still don't have a name. Um, it is a male mantis. Um. So let me know what to name him. So that's it for this video. And if you have any questions for me, um, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And that is it for this video. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn that bell notification on. And I'll see y'all in the next one. And if y'all want to know why the goat is hollering, she wants out and she wants a bottle. But she is currently getting weaned off the bottle. And... She wants to get out so she can jump on vehicles. Because she likes to sleep on my parents' vehicle. So, yeah. So, she's not happy right now. But that's it for this video. And I will see y'all on the next one. And no, you cannot get out of the bin. Well, I just did, so. Bye, guys.